Greetings. Queen Weecha here with Queen of Forces Healing Ministries back at you again. Okay, so I am going to do another oracle card reading on grief. And I'm going to use, again, the um, Archangel Healing Oracle cards. So today or tonight, whatever, um, September 26th, well, we're, going, we're into September 27th now. Um, for me, this is kind of a personal reason I want to do another one again, because it, it will, it, once it got in my mind to want to do the reading on grief that I did recently, um, I want to do another and I had traveled and I, I was traveling when I did that one, but, um, since I've been back, it's been very, very hectic to put mildly. So I hadn't done another um, oracle or tarot card reading for YouTube. So the 26th of September would be the birthday of my very best friend from undergrad who passed away in April of 2015. The 26th of September is also the anniversary of the day I met um, my partner. And he also passed in 2015. He passed in March and my best friend from undergrad passed in April. It was about six weeks apart. So, um, happy birthday, Olympia. And she has been around and he's been around, of course. So, I decided, okay, why not do another? I was going to do a regular tarot reading, but I decided to go ahead and do another one um, on grief. So, let's get started. Give thanks for this beautiful reading. We give thanks that the energy of healing is always, always, and forever the guiding force in my readings. And someone out there is affected positively and receives some guidance that will help them along their journey in healing grief. Maybe I'll make a video or a podcast talking about grief in general. Um, because I think sometimes, in even in the spiritual community, meaning um, non-religious, I guess you could say, people in the tarot community or Reiki or whatever, um, what some people term as new age. I think sometimes because a lot of us are mediums and, you know, continue to have relationships with people who have lost their bodies, um, sometimes it may be easy to believe that just because people can do that and have that connection that you may not still go through grief stages and, and have different emotions and feeling like, oh, we're okay. Oh, I can talk to them. Or I know that it was just a transformation or transition, blah, blah, blah. I'm okay. In this 3D world, aren't you? Everybody's not okay. Some people, of course, handle everything different than others, but it's okay not to be okay sometimes, as the song says. So our first card out says home help. And I'll read it since it's an oracle, oracle card that has a message here already written. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for giving me the courage to ask for and accept help from you, the angels and others in matters regarding my family at home. Okay, let's get a couple more cards to go along with that. Okay. Oh, two came up. All right, so the other two are increased energy and then we also have good night sleep so good night sleep reads dear our angel Raphael, thank you for helping me relax and sleep deeply for i know that you are guiding healing and protecting me while i rest increased energy reads dear our dear angel Raphael, thank you for filling me 
with the unlimited energy of divine love and light. So for people who are grieving, I think one message that is coming through is that um, if you've lost someone in your home, then of course that that's obviously a drastic change for you. And so a lot of people grieving the loss of a loved one, especially in their home, especially if they slept in the same bed together. If it was a partner, a romantic partner, if you slept in the same bed together, even a child. A lot of children sleep with their parents for a certain amount of time. Um, you may not be sleeping well and your energy may be very well drained completely. So I think one of the first messages that is coming across is that make sure that you try to do everything you can do to get your body to rest. That lack of having that person in the bed beside you that you've been sleeping with for however long can just feel so there's I don't even know the word to say right now but so empty grief leaves us empty sometimes you know until we get to a certain place in our healing and you know we may not feel that way anymore but if you've lost someone a romantic partner that has been sleeping with you in your home, in your bed, and now that person isn't there anymore. You don't roll over and feel their arm on your shoulder or around your waist or whatever the case is, you know, or even over your face when <laughs> you're trying to sleep and they're waking you up. Um, that's a tremendous loss. And so, our Angel Raphael and the messages here to me seem to be encouraging us to do our best to get sleep. So, maybe herbal teas. Maybe occasional use of melatonin to try to get some good solid rest. And again, invoke those divine energies um, that are around within, around and within you to help you relax and sleep as well. But when a person is grieving, especially if it's new, again, if it's a romantic partner that you've been sleeping with, if it's a child that you slept with or anybody in your home, it can be very difficult to sleep. So as you sleep and as you ask for that help, you can also end up with increased energy later, okay? Because as we lose our sleep, we become tired and then we try to keep on going sometimes and our body is getting worn out, but we're not getting the rest, even though we may be awake and moving around doing things, we don't have the energy. So getting some good sleep, is definitely going to help you be have more physical energy to do what you need to do. Asking for help. You may have to say to yourself, you know, what is it that I need right now to help me get some sleep? And that could be you may need a person. You may need another human being to come in and help you with something in the house so that you can sleep. You may need to leave your house to get some sleep. I hear that message right now. Sometimes when you lose a person that you've been sleeping with for years and years or however long and you've had that contact with them and that bond with them and now they're no longer in that bed, it can be hard for you to be in that bed. And maybe that can disturb your sleep as well. So. One of the things that may help is for you to actually leave your house and, go, and try to go sleep somewhere else. You may need to get a hotel room so that you can be undisturbed. And then maybe drink your herbal tea, take your melatonin for the night and relax as best you can. Sometimes getting out of our environment can help us temporarily, you know, until you can come back. Easy does it is the next message. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me detach, retreat, and let go so that healing can occur. So that may be um, some of the um, the going out to get and sleeping somewhere else. That may be your retreat, you know. Um, so this one, easy does it. So it also reminds us too to remember that grief is a process. Um, healing through grief is a process. And not everyone 
he was at the same pace, the same time frame, okay? So this call reminds us to have compassion for ourselves and to do what we need to do to take care of ourselves. And again, if that means, okay, I need to go stay the night in a hotel room or at my parents' home, at a good friend's home, so that um, I can just kind of relax and kind of help somebody, have somebody kind of take care of you for the night, you know, that may be very helpful. Because if you have children and you lost a spouse, you're still trying to take care of the children. So again, going back to asking for help, you may need a person to come and say, hey, can you stay with the children and let me go stay a night somewhere? And of course, that will depend, you know, you apply it to your situation and how well your children are handling the situation. Could your children handle you staying away for a night right then? But it is very important for us to remember that we have to take care of ourselves. We hear all the time. Put your mask on first in the airplane. You know, now we got to wear a mask all the time. But point being, take care of yourself first so that you can then in turn be more productive and also take care of others. So our next card is improving health. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for your confident reassurance about this situation and give us your cares. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, I am willing to release any fears to you. Please allow me to completely let go so that you can fully guide me in this situation. Again, release. Let go as best you can. And sometimes we let go, we pull it back, we let go, we pull it back, and we have to keep doing it. It's a practice. Life is a practice, you know? Um, so if you need to commune with divine beings outside of yourself, there's nothing wrong with that. That's what they're here for. You know, <laughs> we've manifested all these wonderful beings that can help us. So we're supposed to use that resource. So in summary, basically do what you need to do to take care of yourself. Call upon Archangel Raphael any benevolent beings that you have personally, your spirit guides, any certain benevolent ancestor that you may have a good relationship with, you know, you can call on help. You can call for help for any human being living in this physical realm along with you that can help you through this process. Again, if you need a babysitter, if you need somebody to go stay the night with just to get away from your environment, Try to give up some of your cares and let somebody help you take care of yourself. Be easy with yourself. Again, this is a process. I don't care how spiritual, new agey or whatever, you know, grief can still be very difficult for some people to process. And everybody has their experiences differently. So again, have compassion for yourself. Take care of yourself and know that help is available. Therapy, whatever you need to do. But I hope this has been helpful for someone. Take care of yourself and may the force of healing be with you. Ashe.